Hey, good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm just going to make a quick video uh, that deals with the subject of how to deal with failure, how to bounce back from failure. Um, when you guys are getting through, going through uh, basic training, boot camp, uh, AIT, A school, uh, whatever branch you're, you're joining, uh, you're going to inevitably encounter uh, some elements or some level of failure at some point. Uh, the important thing is to make sure that you don't allow that failure to deter you from pushing towards your goal of graduating basic training and becoming that soldier, that marine, that airman, that sailor, that coastie uh, that you are striving to be. Um, and then when you go to your AIT, your A school, whatever your branch calls it, uh, that you don't allow failure to derail you from attaining that MOS uh, that you're striving to do. Uh, so for me, uh, my my experience with this uh, really came in AIT. Um, I was originally supposed to be a uh, uh, essentially as an IT guy um, for Intel, uh, for the Intel side, and I was really looking forward to doing that. Um, it, it's a really interesting uh, MOS, really interesting field, and it's also a pretty lucrative field in the civilian side because it's IT. Um, so I, I chose that MOS for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, my original, the original MOS that I was interested in was not available at the time. Um, secondly, like I said, it was a, you know, it's a MOS that has a, a really high ceiling on the civilian side. And then thirdly, because, this, because it was a long AIT, it was 42 weeks long, my family, my wife and my daughter, uh, could move out there with me um, and I could you know, live with them after I, after I phased up. And so I went ahead and chose the MOS, um, and once I got to AIT after graduating basic training, um, I heard about how difficult it was, um, but I was you know, pretty encouraged, like, you know, I can do this. I'm smart enough to, to handle this. Uh, after being on hold for about a, a, week, a month and a half, uh, we started classes. In the very first class that we took, um, I felt like I was in over my head immediately. Um, I, could, I understood the concepts in part, but not completely. Um, and so once we got to our first test, um, I, could un I understood how to, s how to solve some of the problems, but not all of them. And I got my test results back and I failed it by one question. Uh, all I need to do is get one question right and I would have continued to pass and I would have passed and continued on. But I failed it. And so they give you a second try uh, a day later. So, well, it's, yeah, I think it's about two days later, actually. So the next morning you wake up early, you go for retraining and the whole nine, and then you, you take your test. Um, and so... I uh, did that, took, you know, came, did retraining, and then took the second test. Um, I felt pretty good about the second test. I thought I, not that I aced it, but I felt like I did enough to pass it. Um, and then lo and behold, I get the test back, and I failed it again by one question. Um, so I was really feeling bad about it. I was feeling kind of embarrassed because there were a lot of people, before I left to go to the Army, there were a lot of people who were, you know, was kind of discouraging me from going because of reasons for, you know, I'm, I'm too old and, and uh, other things um, and so I kind of felt a little embarrassed uh, because it was almost as if you no know, those people were right um, and that I was wrong um, not only that but you no know, I was also looking forward to having my family come out there with me at the time they weren't there yet this is probably January and they didn't make it to they didn't come out to Fort Worth Chuka until July um, and had I had actually been out in, to, I had been out in Fort Worth Chuka since November uh, so this was kind of putting that in in danger so I, I double tapped and what happens when you double tap is you get recycled to the class that's behind you that starts where you where that's starting wherever you left off. Um, so I was at the first class. So I stayed with my original class for about two more classes and, and then another class came open behind me that was starting the first class of the course. So I was recycled to them and I joined them and you know, I, I breezed through the, 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 the class that I had originally felt. I started understanding the concepts that helped me get through. Uh, the first four courses uh, that follow. Um, I got through about a total of five classes without failing uh, before I, I met another uh, another failure. Um, I went through the course again. I wasn't really I understood in part, but not not completely. Um, I failed the I failed the test twice. Uh, so I mean I had two double taps on my record, which is a really, which is normally uh, grounds for removal from the course totally uh, so I was able to put in a, uh, a request for me to be allowed a second chance um, it was approved after after some wait time um, and I started with another class so it would have been my third class started with my third class uh, at the point where I had failed 
I breezed through that class again because again I I, I finally kind of understood the things that I was misunderstanding before. Um, and I went through three more classes, courses without failures. I should have taken about two classes without a failure. I went through another class and I got an initial test failure, but then I passed the retest. Um, and then I got to the big course, which is uh, Security Plus. I didn't really understand the concepts. I didn't understand how to apply them. I was really in over my head with that court, with that class. And it was very, it was like a crash course. Um, and so once we got to the test that we needed to pass in order to continue on, I failed it and I failed it pretty bad. And at that point, the school decided that uh, that I was done and that they were remo removing me from the course uh, completely with no no more second chances. And at that point, my family had probably been in Fort Huachuca for two months, if, if a whole two months, I'm not even sure. And I think I had moved in with them because I had phased up by that point. I think I had been living with them for maybe, out of those two months, maybe three weeks, four weeks maybe. Um, and immediately I had to leave the house and move back to the barracks, which was crushing. Um, and then on top of that, our future was kind of up in the air. So once you've been removed from a course, um, the Army uh, then selects an MOS for you or gives you, a, you know, maybe a list three, a three a list of maybe three options based on the Army's needs. Well, the Army National Guard works the same way. It's just at a smaller level. So it's based on your unit's needs. So I got three options. Uh, one was as a geospatial engineer. One was as a plumber. And the other one had something to do with Seaburn. Um, at, so I... I didn't really want any of those three because all three of those meant that my family had to move back home and then I would have to go away to another place that I didn't know. Um, I was really hoping to stay in Fort Huachuca and do something and do something there. Um, but it didn't seem like that was going to work out. Um, I was really apologetic to my family, my wife, because like I said, I felt as though I maybe had wasted her time. Um, and I just wasn't really sure where, you know, where things were going to go. Um, I had moments there where I was, especially when I had to move back into the barracks where I just felt uh, felt like maybe the people were right who told me I shouldn't be here, um, that I should have just stayed home and continued do doing what I was doing. Um, but eventually I got to the point where I was like, you know what, whatever happens, I'm here now. I'm going to make the best of it. I'm not going to allow this situation uh, to dictate to me uh, how I'm going to react. I'm not going to allow this situation to beat me. Um, whatever the situation I'm presented with, whatever, whatever opportunity I'm presented with, I'm going to go that much harder uh, to be successful. Uh, well, it turned out that I was uh, my unit needed um, needed me to stay in Fort Huachuca. Uh, they just switched my school. Uh, so after switching schools, staying in Fort Huachuca, it allowed for my family to stay there, uh, which then allowed me later on to move back with my family and to attend another school in Fort Huachuca. Uh, while I was out there, um, my whole entire mindset was to do everything possible to be successful in this new school. Um, it was very difficult still. Uh, there were different times where I thought I had failed tests, but uh, because I, I was really diligent and I studied hard and I, and I applied myself, um, I pushed through all the challenges uh, to eventually graduate AIT um, and, quali and, and become MOS uh, qualified. Um, and then I was able to leave. Once I left uh, Fort Huachuca and I came back home, um, I went back to teaching for a while, which is what I was, had been doing before I, I joined the Army National Guard. But about a month, about about two months after coming home, that hard work that I put in and that 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 mentality of not giving up that I that I developed out there, it paid off. Um, I was you know, I was offered two three jobs, uh, which you know really were very beneficial. Um, and I've continued to grow in my career because of it. Um, and so before, you know, before the night's out, I want to just encourage all of you that even in times of failure, times of failure are really times of learning um, and times of developing, times of self-reflecting and looking back to see what did I do that caused me to not be successful? What were the variables outside of my control that caused me to not be successful? And what are those things that I can control that I can make sure that I improve upon so that I'm successful uh, down the road. Because again, failure is inevitable. Everyone fails, everyone has to experience it, uh, but everyone doesn't have to be defeated by it. Don't allow yourself to be defeated by, by your failures. Use your failures as lessons uh, that help you get to successes. All right, everybody take care. Talk to you all later. Good night.